when it comes to smoking, it's long been considered the healthy alternative to it. We're talking about vaping. Vaping's thought to be now responsible for 18 deaths in America. Uh, so we're asking this morning, are e-cigarettes as safe as you think? Well, we're joined by Glynis Miller. Uh, Glynis is sadly a widow because she believes vaping contributed to her husband's death nine years ago and she wants further research into e-cigarettes alongside her, Dr Zoe. Morning to you both. Glynis, firstly, we're, we're so sorry for your loss. You and Terry were married many years, so yes. very difficult for you and your daughters. Um, tell us a little bit about him. He was a smoker yes. all his life. Quite a heavy smoker? Yeah, he smoked about 25 a day um, from when he was around about 15. Yeah until he was in his 50s, and that's when he first started to want to give up smoking. So you found it hard yeah, to kick very much the habit. So. Yeah. so then he turned to e-cigarettes? <laughs> yes, it was a friend of mine had one, and I asked her about it, and she told me where she got it. It was bought from the chemist, so you're thinking, ooh, that's safe. Um, we went to the chemist, um, Terry questioned about it and had a look at it, and, yeah, they were saying it's safe. It didn't have all the things in that cigarettes had in, so... Really thought it was still a safer nicotine, on. Though. It still has a nicotine, yeah. but not all the, the tar, tar and, and things yeah. like that. Um, so he bought a one, and he thought it was absolutely great. Within a couple of weeks, he thought he felt much healthier, felt and fitter. And you must have been thinking, great, finally got him off the cigarettes. Yes, yeah, I did. Um, and this was in view of stopping smoking, yeah. but it never transpired like that because Terry just swapped the cigarettes for the vaping. So um, he was vaping a lot. Just, as much as he was smoking, okay. as much so as he then was smoking. He started becoming unwell. So tell us what happened. To be quite honest, we never seen any signs of it until much later on. It was around about eight months mm. later in the in the June, and it was quite a hot day. Come in, had been to his greenhouse, quite short of breath. Uh, rang the doctors. They wanted to see him straight away. We went along. They sent him straight up to the hospital. Had an X-ray. Doctor at the hospital questioned him questioned where he had worked, but because he hadn't worked in that industry for 10 years... He worked in was, glass with He glass. worked in the glass and silica factory, and he said the X-rays did look like that. So they found silica on his lungs? It looked like silica. Okay. But that's when they, they questioned it and said, no, it couldn't be that because of the length of time he hadn't yeah. been in the I factory. I mean, he, he did very sadly pass away. Yeah, did they believe it was e-cigarettes contributed? Well, he, I think I believe so, because uh, Mr Carney, who was the coroner, agreed with me that there was more questions to be asked and answered about mm. this because there isn't enough research. Nobody knows. Nobody definitely knows what, what you're taking into your body. And given that Terry had lipoid pneumonia with it, he found, they found oil in his lungs and there were cells growing on the oil. Where would that come from? He was inhaling it from this e-cigarette. Uh, well, you say that there hasn't been a lot of research, but there is a, a doctor in America, isn't there? Yeah, well, first of all, sorry, from Dr Zoe, we just really want to know, from your point of view, do you think that Terry's death should alarm vapours? What, what was on the actual death certificate was um, lung fibrosis, That's wasn't right. it? And this is a very rare condition where the lungs due to an inflammatory response, end up with lots of scarring and they can't recover. And, and this is why they were interested in his previous occupation, because yes. we know in some cases it can come from coal dust, silica dust, mm -hmm. asbestos, some types of mould as well. So I guess, unfortunately, we will never know whether it was something in the vapes that triggered that reaction in Terry. But what we do know is if it was, it okay. would be a very unique Guys, I've got to go to the US now, because uh, there, uh, from his home in North Carolina, is Dr uh, Sven Eric Yort, uh, who's carried out extensive research into e-cigarettes. Uh, we're debating it here in the studio, Doctor. Um, your findings, are they applicable in the UK? Um, <clears throat> um, uh, we, we have found that um, the liquids that are in e-cigarettes that are filled and vaporized are chemically unstable. And uh, the similar liquids we see here in the US are also present in, in the products in the UK. However, in, in the UK, the manufacturers have to declare the ingredients to a public health England. So they have a record and can flag certain liquids that, that may be unsafe. Yeah. So the, the regulation in the UK is stricter than in the United States. Stricter. But nevertheless, should Terry, the man uh, we're, we're talking about here, uh, Terry Miller, should his uh, death alarm people who are vapors? Um, certain, certainly. Um, we believe now with millions of vapors just uh, starting to vape in the last few years, there are individuals that are more sensitive to vaping. 
uh, especially people who have worked in environments where their lungs are stressed and long-term smokers. So if you yeah. think about vaping, if you stop smoking, uh, you also should consult your lung doctor. Um, the European Respiratory Society that has a lot of members from the UK um, recommends to not vape at all. Public Health England has endorsed vaping. Um, you should really uh, discuss this with your doctor and make an individual decision together with the doctor. Well, doctor, unfortunately, time is really against us here. I just got to quickly say to you, uh, in your view, then, does vaping kill? It can kill certain individuals. And uh, we see also over the long term, with now millions of new vapors, uh, we, sh we should definitely do more research. Thank you, Dr. Sven Eric York. Really appreciate your time. Thank you Thank very you. much indeed. Very briefly, Dr. Zoe, mm -hmm. uh, Public Health England they claim that vaping is 95% safer than smoking. I would agree with that, because if we look at the figures, there are 18 deaths in the whole of the US that have been linked to vaping. Here in the UK, 220 people die every day from smoking. Mm -hmm. So vaping is not completely safe, but it is a fraction yeah. of the risk of smoking tobacco. Doctor, appreciate your, your input. Thank you very much Glynis, indeed. Thank Glynis, you very much. thank you. Thank you for talking okay, about it. Thank you. Uh,